All right, so welcome back. We are still on class number one, and this is your last video number six. And we're just gonna do a little bit of reviewing here. The first thing that I wanna talk about is practice. One of the things that I do more differently than any other trainer is I only want you practicing 20 to 30 seconds at a time with your puppy. That is it. I don't want you thinking that you have to practice five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Your puppies have um, a very short attention span at this point in time. And, and even if they're not puppies, if you're coming into a basic class, they still are just learning training. So to expect them to do long periods of time is just not fair to them. So keep your practices short. If you practice 20 to 30 seconds at a time, this is literally you walking to the refrigerator and your dog following you and you asking him to sit and maybe doing focus games. If they followed you to the bathroom, like most of your dogs do, you have a bath mat in there so you can work with matting. These are all things that you're gonna learn in the coming weeks. So all of your practice time should be day, daily things that you're doing and your dog is there with you. It doesn't have to be, oh, it's five o'clock. We have to go practice for 20 minutes now. That's not the way it works. It should be fun. When they see that clicker come out, they should be like, oh, this is so much fun. I'm so excited. Not going and hiding underneath the table. So if I practice with Ember for 20 to 30 seconds a day, that's seven times in a week. That's really good when you think about it. However, if Mary over here practices five times per day, she's practiced 35 times in a week and her dog is gonna be much more consistent than my dog is. So the more you practice, small times, your dogs are really gonna start picking up this work, I promise you. The next thing is, is have patience. Everybody forgets that their dogs are animals and animals know basically what looks good, feels good, smells good, tastes good. And we have to train them to do things. Your dogs don't know that they should go potty outside. Your dogs don't know that you don't want them to bark when somebody comes in the door. They don't know these things. We have to train them to do these things. We have to have patience. We can't get frustrated. There's no such thing as I left and my dog knew better than get in my closet and chew up my shoes. No, your dog didn't know that. But if you come home every single day and you get mad at your dog for chewing something up in the house that you have left out, then when you leave, your dog is getting this anxiety and they're like, oh my gosh, they left again. I'm going to be in trouble when they get home. What am I supposed to do? And then what do they do? They find something to chew on so it soothes them. So your dogs don't know. They don't know spite. And so we tend to give emotions to our dogs and I don't want you to do this. Follow along, keep things simple. Kiss, remember? Keep it simple, silly. So, so be patient with your dogs. So you have four homework assignments in week one. Your first homework assignment is don't be using your dog's name when they're doing something naughty. I don't want you scolding them with their name. Now, if you get after them because they are running through the house with your child's shoe, then call them something else. No, sir, no, ma'am, lady, missy, whatever you want to, but don't attach their name to it. Our goal is to train your dogs to do what it is that you're punishing them for. So here soon, we're gonna teach your dogs to leave it and drop it, and then you won't be shouting at them or getting after them when they are doing something wrong. We wanna teach them a behavior to replace all the things that you're angry about or that you say no about and because your dogs don't know what no means. Then I want you charging your clicker. If you remember your clicker, charging your clicker means that you're going to click, give them a reward. Click, give them a reward. This is what you're doing is you're imprinting in the brain that when they hear the click, that they're going to get something yummy, all right? So what I don't want you doing, because your dogs are really gonna like this clicker because they're gonna be like, oh, I get something, oh, I get something, and they're gonna be super excited. Don't use this for other reasons. It's gonna be so tempting. You're late for work, your dog's outside, they won't come in, you walk to the door and you go, Jody! No, that's not how it works. You will ruin the purpose of this clicker and it will make training so much harder for you because this is such a powerful tool for you to use in training, all right? So you're just charging the clicker. Do not walk around the house doing this because you like the noise, all right? It's only used to tell your dog you did that right, and that's what the clicker is for. Then I want you catching your dog's behaviors. If your dog just walks up to you, 
come and give them a reward. If they sit in front of you without you asking, sit, and I want you to give them a reward. If your dog produces some really, oh my goodness, if your dog, <laughs> if your dog produces some crazy behavior, such as maybe you have a brachiocephalic dog, which is your squishy nose dog. <laughs> Sorry, I have birds. And they go, and they sneeze a lot. And they sneeze a lot. <laughs> Hush. Things happen in real life, right? And, and so they sneeze a lot. You can catch it. Sneeze, give them a reward. Sneeze, give them a reward. Soon you can say sneeze and they're going to go, right? So it's fun. Catch some fun behaviors. Catch regular behaviors. It's going to be really good practice with you and your clicker this week. And then lastly, I want you to play your recall game. I want when you call your dogs, your dogs come back to you. They shouldn't be looking at you and going, why? I want them to come back to you with energy and be like, woohoo, she's got the good stuff. So that's what I want you to do. Post your videos if you want some critiquing, if you want help, if you want to know if you're doing it right. That way I can help you. Um, practice for one week. I'm going to ask you how... Oh my goodness. I'm going to ask you how things are going and then I will sing, send you the link for week two. All right, y'all have fun with this. Sorry about the bird.